there is something else going on. It's like 12 o'clock in the morning and I was just... Another event. I keep telling you we're sold out. But, but, please, there's got to be a way. Look, you can well all you want, but sold out is sold out. I can't magically pull out one from under the counter. Please, I'm begging you. Just one. One's all I need. Okay, now you're just crazy. If you don't back off, I'll have to call the police. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Uh, what's it eating that guy? Hey, pal, what's the matter? Wild grown man balling in public. I I couldn't buy the heart necklace. Huh? A heart necklace? Mm. Yes, a heart necklace from Destiny's. It's trendy and high demand. It's so popular, it actually sold out everywhere. Okay, so there's a popular necklace, so you can't buy it. Big deal. Doesn't sound like you got a flood to sell to bore you about it. Yeah. But I have to buy it. If I don't get one soon, I... Uh, cut the shit out, man. Get a hold of yourself. Why do you need it right now? Anyway, just wait for the next delivery. I, uh, I promised this girl I'm seeing that I will get her a heart necklace for her birthday. If I wait for the next delivery, I'll miss her birthday. I'll be breaking my promise. Sure, okay, but this one's on you for making a promise you can't keep. Ain't nothing for it but to come clean to your gal with an apology. Like I could do that. What if she gets mad? What if she dumps me? Oh man, what am I gonna do? Pull out as much hair as you want about it, but the fact remains it's sold out. Not much to be done, son. <laughs> Or I suppose you could get yourself a fake, huh? That's true. Wait, a fake? Th that's it? That's the answer? Huh? If I can't get the real deal, I'll get a fake that looks just like it. I need to get a fake heart necklace and give that to her. But it's a fake, man. Ain't she gonna notice it? I don't think so. Destiny's heart necklace is so popular, almost impossible to find out in a while. Only a jeweler could tell a real from a fake. That's so? But still, that'll mean pulling a fast one on your gal. I know that, but I don't want to break my promise to her. I don't want to see her sad. I don't, really don't want her to dump me. Mm. Well, if you think that's your answer, there it is. But how are you going to get that fake? You got any leads? No, not at all. I would have to find a forger who works with jewelry, wouldn't I? If only, if only there was someone who's familiar with the criminal underworld. Someone who would be acquainted with forgers. Oh, sure. Like, you're going to run into someone suitably shady character like that on the street. You're right, huh? Actually, you look a little shady. No, scratch that. You're totally shady. Huh? Please, can you use your co shady connection to hook me up with a forger? Listen, you're kind of hurting my feelings here. Besides, there ain't no forger in my social circle. Try barking up another tree. Oh. Uh, but you look so shady. You look like the sort of person who would know all kinds of criminals, not just forgers. You're really disappointing me here, pal. And you're really rude, you know that? Oh, I'm sorry. But I have no one else to turn to. If you find anyone who can help, please... Can you please tell me? I don't want to disappoint my girl, please. Well, I guess your attention ain't bad, at least. Fine. Tell you what. If a miracle happens and I get a lead on a forger, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. That's it. It ain't like you run as a forger on the street. Well, if you want shady, you go to the shade. Any alleys ahead as good places. Okay, alleys ahead. Hibiki Otsuki type B card. Now, I know where one of the shady areas for black market deals. Uh, Go. <laughs> Okay, you get to go.
Now you can talk forever on payphone for free. Great, thanks. See you. Happy do business with you. Bye bye. What's that about? Some kind of deal went down? Probably best if I don't get involved. Ah, huh? Ah, my card go all over. Guy dumped a bunch of phone cards. Fine, guess I should lend a him a hand. Oh, oh no, no text to merchandise. Uh, I'm doing a favor picking up your cards. There ain't no call for that, too, friend. Ah, uh, thank you, but no look too closer. Why not? They're just phone cards, right? Is there something different about them? Uh, no, 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 no looking, no look, please. Huh? Wait, those are these phone cards, they gotta ship a tape over where the phone punches holes. I'm getting the picture now. They're bogus cards, huh? Huh? Sorry, my hearing I good? What? I said these phone cards bogus, aren't they? Uh, Japanese very hard to understand, sorry. Now get what you saying. Seriously? The phone cards are bogus, huh? Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. No, it didn't. Oh, no, 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 it's all over, all over, all over for me, no. How about you calm down? Oh, no, I mean, yes, uh. Please, you don't tell anyone. If anyone find out, very bad trouble. Uh, I know, we make deal, I propose you. I make one fake thing for you. You no tell anybody, good deal for you. Appreciate the offer, but can't think of any fakes up. Hmm. Wait, Wait there, there was, was that fellow wanting to fake heart necklace for this gal. I can hook him up with this guy. Hey, hey I might have something for you to do. You got a minute? Of course. What kind of fake you want? So, there you have it. I think it was called Destiny. Can you make a heart necklace for that fella? Piece of easy cake. I take care of it. No problem. Top quality bars you gotta make for you. Okay, you give young man this, my business card. Got Fawn's business card. Tell your friends, come to my office. I tell workers so they look after him. My name is Fawn-san. Nice to meet you. My name is Majima. I'm counting on you then. Okay, but no, you don't forget, no talking about my telephone card anymore, please. Triad boss prefer dead forger to famous forger, you know? Is that right? Forger stuff is a tough gig. Okay, okay. Your secret's safe for me. Okay, I go back to office now. <laughs> well, I'll be, I found a forger. I give this business card to that blabbering fool. He was out in front of that fancy boutique store. Alright. Here is another card. Ari Kagawa. What am I going to do? Still no close to a solution, huh? Oh no, no luck at all. I suppose you couldn't get any leads on a forger either. Here, take this business card to go to the address on it. It's an office. You handed over Fawn's business card. Cool. Huh? What is this? There's a forger there. Show him the card, tell him you know me, and he ought to make you a top quality fake of your heart necklace. You, you're you not pulling my leg, are you? I knew you were someone special the moment I saw you. Nah, I ain't nobody special. Just got lucky. Uh, may I ask your name? Ah, uh, Majima. Thank you very much, Majima-san. I'm sorry, but I'm running out of time. I'll go see him right away. You do that. Just remember Forge's work on the wrong side of the law. You mind your manners or you might get hurt. I will. Thank you again. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Bonsai. Bonsai. The Forge seem like a good sport, but what the fellow's just a normal guy? Who knows what could go wrong? Maybe I'll check in on him when I got a minute. Now, there's something here, so I need to go down this street, take a right. I'll save it down here also. Save.
use item box. I need to pull out some stuff. Ah, oh, I can't get anything from here. Okay. Mm. I need to cut through here. Find signs the forge's office was around her somewhere. Someone, please help! What was that? Sound like Lover Boy's in trouble. Ah! Uh, please, let me go! Can I do? You tell me real reason why you come here. Wrong answer, finger go bye bye. Please, stop, I'm not lying. I really only want a necklace. I was given that card and told to come here. Cannot be true. This place top secret. No more necklace buy I cannot find. But, but I'm telling the truth, help! Looks like things went sideways. Hey, he's done nothing wrong. Let him go, will ya? What? Majima son, who are you? Ah, you are partner of this guy. This place top secret. You know secret, you know stay alive. Sorry, you have to die. Hold on, one of you guys told me about this office. No one here sell out. No trade to hell, you dishonor us. You die now. See, now I'm about to, I'm about to bring out this goddamn stick I got on me. Cause I'm about to whoop your ass. Hey, you. Broken? No. One sixty. I don't think the stun, the old stun gun has a... How come so strong? If you just give me a chance to explain to myself... What, what, what's going on here? Boys, what happened? Oh, boss. What happened here? Explain. Boss, these guys, they say someone tell them about office. They just come in here. Huh? These guys. Oh, boss. No one tells secret out this location. We no tell anyone. Never. These guys lying. Um. Hey, oh god. Care to explain? 
fun son. Forget to tell boys here you coming. Oh, come on. So then I give business card. Oh, that what happened. Very sorry, Master my son. Yeah. Man, you better be glad I didn't pull out the katana and just whoop y'all ass. Nothing to forgive. <laughs> ah, very good. Everyone all friend, happy ending. Good, good. Says the guy who shit the bed the first in the first place. So we make copy of De Destiny Heart Necklace. That all? Yeah. Can you do it? No problem, we copy weapons, harder things. Necklace is easy. No worry, we do a good job, talk quality. Good news, eh? Th thank you so much. Okay. We make right right away. No watch us work, though. You go outside a little, okay? All right. Okay, it's finished. Excellent quality. Well, well, this is damn good work. Ah, it's exactly like the real thing. I'm sure my girlfriend will be delighted. Okay, here you go. No promise. Now, promise to Maji my sign is done. <laughs> yep, we're square. Woo, what a huge relief. Thanks to everyone's help, I can fulfill my promise to my girlfriend. I made it just in time for her birthday. Good, get going then. Hi. Yes, I better get going. Thank you so much again. I guess that ought to do it then. Still, that necklace, even a woman's not going to know it's a fake. No problem. I'm sure no one can tell it's not real. Secret safe forever. Okay, hope you're right. You're right. Vine says it's okay, but he blows smoke too. Guess I gotta see how this plays out. I'll be on my way too. Thanks. Oh no, no problem. Thank you too. Okay, bye bye, Majima san. Oh, there's our lover boy. Is he really going to get away with a pacific necklace to his gal? Happy birthday. Here's your present. Like I promised, it's a heart necklace from Destiny. Whoa, really? I can't believe it. It's so adorable. It's crazy popular now, though. It must have been hard to get. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. It was a real challenge to get. <laughs> I have to admit, I was worried. Stores can't keep it in stock, so I wasn't sure you'd be able to get it. Well, you know, uh, I spent a night standing in line, kind of. You spent the whole night in line? You did all that for me? I, uh, didn't, but, well, yeah, something like that. Really? I'm so happy. I'm tearing up now. Thank you. I love you so much. That's good. I'm glad it makes you so happy. <laughs> How about that? Looks like he got away with the fake. <sighs> huh? Is that the wrong? Oh man, that's the face of a moral dilemma. Sorry. Huh? Why are you apologizing? I have to tell you what really happened. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna. That necklace is actually. It's actually. It's a fake. Pardon? It's a fake? I'm sorry. Why? Why did you try to trick me? That's terrible. I'm so sorry. You gave me a fake for my birthday? I feel like an idiot for being so happy. <sighs> yep, now it's all going to hell in the head, but this calls for Majima Touch. Excuse me, lady. Pardon. Majima son? What on earth possessed you to spill the beans, huh? Because when I saw how happy it made her, I couldn't help but feel this horrible guilt. Hey. In for a yen, in for a kilo. If you were going to get out guilt complex, you shouldn't have faked it to begin with. I know, I'm sorry, I'm the worst. Okay, lady, let me clue you in on this. Though that necklace is fake and your boyfriend's a dingbat, can't fault you for being upset. But he wanted to see you happy, that part is real. Huh? He went through a lot to get that fake. The kind of trouble you probably don't want to know about. He ended up in a forged secret office with his life and his digits in danger. Yeah, he's an idiot, all right. Sure, trying to slip you a fake, fake's a dumb mistake, but he went through all that just so you could see his smile. That desire, that part of it, at least, ain't nothing fake about it. Hmm. 
You really went through all of that? Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry. You idiot. How could you be so stupid? What if something happened to you? What am I supposed to do then? Well, uh, he got life insurance, so, you know, that's also a birthday gift. <laughs> what if something happened to you? What am I supposed to do then? Sorry. How does a guy who's missing fingers hold his girlfriend's hand? Uh, please, no more lies. Let's be honest with me. Yes, I'm really sorry. Really sorry. Next time, when the real thing is in stock, we'll go buy one together. I don't want it. Huh? I don't want another one. I have this one. But that one's just a fake. It's it's real enough for me. And that makes it unique. Listen to what she's saying. She's telling you the Yeah, the fake that her boyfriend struggled to get shots brighter than the real thing. She's a fine lady, you fool. You best be good to her. You fool, you fool! Hi. Yes, yes, I will. Majima san, thank you so very much for everything you did for me? For us. Please, I want you to have this. You got a secret wallet. Ah, uh, so I can protect from getting shaken down. I can equip both of those when I fight Mr. Shakedown just in case I lose. I'll always be honest with my girl. No more faking. Only what I really feel. Yeah, that's for the best. Yes, thank you so much. Shall we go? Yep. A fake that shines brighter than the real thing, huh? Eh, stay happy, you two. Oh, you took it that way. I see, I see. But no, that's not the right answer. Uh, I don't get it. What's this, a lover spider public? What's this, a lover spider public? No, I was trying to... I was trying to get something to eat first. I'll come back out and deal with that later. I am. Crab nabe, crab sushi platter. I like a crab sushi platter. And what else do you have? It's all crap. Uh, and probably, I don't want a raw crab. Fresh raw crab sushi. Two kinds of crab grilled to perfection. Any more I'm going first. Okay, yeah, so I guess I can only do one of these. Alright. Oh my right up my alley. Ah, oh, so close, but still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Oh, don't gloat. Can we just drop it? But, but, what's all the ruckus about? You kids are being awful loud in front of the shop. That's bad for business. Oh, yeah, sorry. So spell it. What's got the, you two flying off the handle? What's this? Some picture you drew out of squares? Has you that worked up? What the hell? It's not a drawing, it's a crossword puzzle. A crossword puzzle? Hey. Yes, it's a puzzle with squares, grids, in which you write answers to clues. Each letter of the answer has to fit a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form one word or phrase at the end. <laughs> How about that? That's what's hip and happening these days. It does sound kind of fun. Usually they are, but the puzzle co-made is too hard. I'm over it. Koku? Oh, that will be me. I'm Kosuke. This is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. 
So you two make puzzles and get each other to solve them. So you must be really like these things. Uh, yes, that's true, but... Hmm? Ah, uh, blah. I'm over it. I don't want to work on this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made this for me, but I can give up. No, absolutely not. Huh? Why not? B because you just can't quit. I help guide you to the answers. We can solve it together. Oh, you're sucking all the fun right out of this by being so intense, Coco. I don't want to do it. Oh no, you have to, please. I said I don't want to anymore. Sorry to intrude. Have fun, solve a puzzle, fight about it, or whatever. Just keep it down, will you? Oh, yeah, sorry. Excuse me, may I have your name? Huh? Oh, I'm Majima. Majima son, I have a huge favor to ask. May I have a moment? Say what? So, when you solve your puzzle, it becomes your proposal to Shizuku-chan. That's some real creative shit. Shh! Majima-san! Keep your voice down! Uh. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, just trying to say, it's real clever, romantic too, I guess. <laughs> oh, thank you. But I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. Ouch, that's a tough one. Yes, that's where you come in, Majima-san. Can you help Shizuku-chan solve the puzzle? Huh? Help her solve it. Why do I gotta do it? If I keep hounding her, she'll totally blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help She's good with the puzzle so she can get to my proposal? Sure. Alright. Sure, I'll help you. <laughs> you will? You're my hero. Okay, let me get this straight. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle and you're golden, right? Hi. Yes, if the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. I need your help to make sure she gets it right. I get it. A proposal a pretty big thing, ain't it? I'll pinch hit for you. Thank you. Let's move it inside. Oh, I was just eating there. Calcoon, you make this crossover puzzle way too hard. Can we do something else? Don't be so quick to give up. When you solve the puzzle, I'll shoot you to the best crap they've got. I like to actually, but there's no way I can solve this puzzle by myself. It'll be okay. Majima-san is here an expert. He can help you with it. Right, Majima-san? Uh. Ah, like a word, smith at a crossword forge. <laughs> oh, really? That would be so helpful. Koku's been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so weird. Can't say I blame him. He's got this whole future writing on this. Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's get this puzzle started. Let's solve uh, one down. Uh, okay. So, uh, what's one down? What's the clue? Let me see. One down, a dish made by boiling the crushed potatoes and off the serve the gravy is called blank potatoes. The blank is where you answer goes. Back it up. What the hell is gravy? It's a western sauce made from juices of cooked meat. You know, the brown sauce they often serve with steaks and meat when it's served western style. <laughs> oh, that stuff. You really know your way around food, she's a good Yes, but a boiled and crushed potato dish that goes well with gravy. I can't picture it. From the number of squares, it looks like it's a six letter long. Okay, a dish made by boiling and crushed potatoes off to serve with gravy is called blank potatoes. The blank being six letters long, it's mashed. Yeah. Ain't it mashed? Oh, that sounds right. It's the creamy, mushy potatoes you get with steak. Majima san, you're fabulous. Yep, yep, Majima san, you're on the ball. Yeah, I guess that has to be the answer. The only Places that serve mush potatoes are the ones that can't spell. Why didn't I know that? This is what you're hoping for. Yes, yeah. you're doing great. great. I think it's safe to fill in the squares then, she's a good chunk. From square one down, mashed. Hey. Okay, let's see. Mashed. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. I wrote it down. Uh. Alright, next clue. The next clue is, what is the most popular snack food served at popcorn at movie theaters? Kokun even left a note saying that we shared some at the last movie we saw. Hmm. I ain't been to a theater in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skippy clue. I have to agree, but if you shared some the last time you saw Flick, do you remember what it was, Shizuku? I do remember Ko buying some stuff at the counter, but what was all what was it? They asked from what size he wanted, and then, oh, it comes in different sizes, huh? 
There are several grids to be filled. Okay, several lot of snack food. That's the most popular movie theaters, and it comes in different sizes. Popcorn. It's the only thing that comes in different sizes. I mean, I would say hot dogs, but we're not in New York, so you don't have different sizes for hot dogs. Um, and we're not at Oodles and Noodles, so you don't have different sizes of noodles. So, in your movie theater, there's a popcorn. See ya. And a popcorn. Oh, yes, that's right, it's popcorn. <laughs> yep, yep, that's it. Yes, popcorn has really taken off at the movie theaters lately. Why did I remember that? Looks like we got it right. Yes, yeah. you're doing great. Please keep it up. She's a quick shot. Let's fill in those squares. P O P C O R N. Okay, um, popcorn. I wrote it down. All right, bring on the next clue. The next clue is a phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere. It's sometimes called a blank phone. Hmm? I actually saw a phone like that not too long ago, but it's a long story. It looks like it's a word that's eight letters long. A phone that you can carry around, huh? Didn't I see a of back phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it? I'm totally lost here. A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is called a blank phone. So the eight letter word to fill in the blank is I would say a shoulder phone right and it's shoulder shoulder are you sure yes yes it has one strap so you still get over the shoulder yeah I'm like it's the the reason I said shoulder was because it it literally hurt the dude's shoulder from carrying it so it's a shoulder phone if it had two straps it would have been a backpack so yeah oh i didn't know that majima sign you're so smart right out of the money huh yeah i still remember he i had to give my all oh, my double my double x um my double x drink for that yes majima sign you know your stuff get that one down on paper she's kushan S H O U L D E R. Okay, um, shoulder. I wrote it down. Good. On to the next one. Majima san, we're almost done. The next one's the last clue. Yeah, then let's do this. Okay, I'll read the last clue. This term is used to categorize the faces of men. A man with a typical plain Japanese feature is called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a soft face. The hell is that? Teenager slang? Now I'm screwed. I think the two blanks are where the answer goes. It must be two words. There's room for eight letters in all. Okay, so the opposite is a sauce face. It must mean that it's got something to do with the flavor of condiment, right? Oh, that sounds very possible. If a sauce face describes a face that is rugged or foreign, then this would be softer. Okay, a term used to describe a face of a plain Japanese guy, and it's two words followed by face. The opposite is sauce face. So the two words are... <laughs> soft free miso soup uh probably soy sauce i guess soy sauce yeah. oh so you're saying it should be soy sauce face <laughs> yes yes soy sauce is definitely less rich and thick than like barbecue sauce for example yes so it is marjima san you're awesome it's a seasoning and it's a sauce it has to be soy sauce yeah i know my asian cuisine <laughs> was that, that right? right yes yeah. it's perfect, perfect. Also, I'm also um, a food addict, so I enjoy eating a lot of different foods. <laughs> um, Jesus Christian, gotta write that down. Soy sauce, okay? Yep, um, soy sauce. I wrote it down. Uh, let's see. That's it for the clues. Yes, yay. It's all done. Wait, wait. It's not finished yet. There's one last thing to do. Do you see the circles on the puzzle? You gotta use the circle letters to form a word. Oh, right. Let's see. It says, let's blank. I guess the blank is the word you get from the letter circle on the puzzle. So it's five letters. From mass, I get the letters M and A. From popcorn, I get I. I get the letter R. 
From shoulder, I get another R. And from soy sauce, the letter Y. Okay, now just write those letters in the blanks and read the whole thing out loud. Let's marry. Calcoon, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I've been wanting to say those words for a long time now, but I can never work up the courage. I thought maybe putting them in a crossword puzzle would help me, and that's why I was so adamant about you solving this one, but I made it too hard. Sorry. Calcoon, so, uh, uh, what do you read there is how I feel about you, Sis Bookshot? Do you, do you have an answer? Not until you say it, huh? Calcoon, I want you to look me in the eyes and ask it. Sorry? Sis Bookshot, will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? You will? Sweet! Yes! Huh? How hard was that? I wish you would have just said it instead of been putting me through this, you idiot. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd have so much trouble solving it. I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted you to say it. Hmm? Wait, what? Forget it. Congrats, Kosuke and Shizuku. Majima-san, I can't possibly thank you enough, but please take this. You got three pearls. <laughs> Majima-san, you blew right through my crossword puzzle like a champ. I feel validated. <laughs> Anyone could have breezed through that. Come up with something more challenging next time, will you? Yeah. No, I don't think there'll be another one. My crossword puzzle will make your days over. From now on, if I need to convey my feelings, I'll say it in my own words. Koku. <laughs> You're sappier than a tree, Koku, but good for you. Well, I'll be going now. Thank you, Majima-san. Thank you so much. We're going to be happy together. I'm just wondering, because, like, every male character I've seen in this game, they have such rugged faces. Like, straight up, if you put a screen print over it and pull it, like the putty stuff you can make a horror mask out of their face because like their their facial bones are just so prominent like it looked like if someone like head buttocks you with their type of facial structure it would hurt <laughs> uh. yeah no doubt I bet those two would have ended up together no matter what I did. But he's right. If you want to say something, you got to say it in your own words. Your own words are what you get you through life. Toughest spots, even when you got to cross words. <laughs> I have five break. <laughs> Time to be moving along. some form of control still, making our constant binary choices and voicing our equally shallow opinions more loudly or quietly. Most people can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What well, does it matter, man?